Hi, many of you know by now that we moved into our new rebuild facility. So before we're 100% out of the old, I want to give you a little shop tour. I'm completely out of the offices and uh, let me show you the old Frank Bacon uh, Machinery Rebuild Center. <music> So the old building is about 9,000 square feet of rebuilt facility uh, where we used to bring up sold equipment from our warehouse to this rebuilt facility to be processed, reconditioned, sold, and shipped to our customers. So here's kind of a show and tell board we did showing all the different types of equipment we carry. Obviously our biggest product lines are the tensile compression and fatigue machines. You can see here we have machines that we ship to NASA, Boeing, John Deere, Caterpillar, uh, U.S. Army, U.S. Navy, um, and various other manufacturers across the country, across the world. So we do everything from tensile, compression, fatigue, hardness, Brunel, polishing, grinding equipment, ductility, impact. All this is on our show and tell board, and uh, we're proud of our past projects. Here's some of the last few items remaining in our old facility. Um, some small Instron tensile testers. We got some Rockwell, some vibration uh, controllers, some digital Rockwell hardness, dial Rockwell hardness, uh, polishing, grinding equipment, metallurgical microscopes. These will eventually all make their way to the new facility, but are stored here while we uh, get ready for the final move. Here's some of the last remaining projects in this building. We got our new uh, mini vibration system. This is the LT50. Um, set up with an amplifier and vibration controller. We got this uh, MTS858 Bionic system with a T-slotted table. This will do axial fatigue as well as torsional fatigue, either standalone or at the same time. So it's a two-channel dual-axis system. Here's a Instron 8874, another biaxial system widely used in um, the medical device test industry. For testing anything from shoulder, hip, knee implants, etc. Some various fixtures, storage parts. Um, a lot of this stuff is up on our eBay store, or we carry anything from old, outdated parts to fixtures, grips, anything you might find that you need replacement parts for. Some storage racks that store some of the parts in the process of getting reconditioned. We got a 60K HVL with a, a data acquisition system on it. We, uh, this was a buyback machine we bought back from a customer that was done with their project. So this one is available for sale. We got an Instron hydraulic power supply. This is getting ready to be reconditioned to run one of the Instron 8874 systems. MTS hydraulic power supply getting reconditioned. We have an LDS V722 electrodynamic vibration system in process here. MTS machine, halfway reconditioned process. The actuator's out, getting rebuilt. Um, a 60K TNA sold some Super L for a customer that's sold and waiting on their truck to arrive. Got some more equipment that's actually getting ready to ship out today. It's another uh, MTS. Uh, 858 bionic system, so the axial torsional fatigue, complete with a uh, hydraulic power supply and our M3500 two channel controller. We've got some 90 degree bed plates, more pumps getting reconditioned over here. We have uh, this is a setup going over to a local Oakland University, which is uh, our M3500 controller along with an MTS actuator and hydraulic power supply. We retrofitted it with an air-cooled heat exchanger instead of a water-cooled heat exchanger because it's going to a place where water was not available. 
Good. This is all getting set up and ready for reconditioning and calibration and controls. Here's our good old trusty Clark. You know, it's been with us in this old building for over 35 years. It still runs. A little noisy and clunky, but it gets the job done in the end, and it's been a good workhorse for us. And the same with this, the, our, our old Bridgeport mill. Anything complex will outsource uh, machining, but we do do most of the general basic fabrication uh, machining in-house, such as uh, milling, cutting, grinding, welding, and basic fab. Here's where kind of all the dirty and messy tear down and hands-on rebuild takes place. We have a two-ton capacity crane spanning this higher bay so we can work on some of the taller machines in this area. And it's really helpful to when dismantling and removing items such as cross heads or lift cylinders. Um, the one last steel table we have here, other ones have moved over to the other facility already. We have our bandsaw, we have our sandblast cabinet, arbor press, a solar air compressor, our mineral spirits tank, and we have a full paint booth here with uh, filters and removable exhaust going out the back of the building so we can handle all of the painting needs that um, these reconditioned machines require. <laughs> extra heavy uh, depending on the vintage and the type of machine we're able to store and distribute this type of oil and keep it you know nice and clean and safe and off the ground we have a 110 kip MTS system that's uh, getting ready to ship out this is a, a system going out to New York to a customer doing aerospace fasteners so that's a complete system we built for them with a new interface load cell 110 kip 6 inch stroke actuator uh, M3500 servo fatigue controls, a 21.2 GPM pump, and this is a complete turnkey system. We even did full uh, fastener tooling for it. Yeah, all along this back wall is tooling and fixturing for pretty much every make, model, tensile compression tester ever built. Tinia Solson, MTS, uh, United, Really, Satec. Um, Right now we have the curtain set up for picture taking, but behind here, everything from threaded rods to fastener holders to um, compression platens, special fixturing, tubing, parts. We got also up there, we got a bunch of structural MTS actuators, anything from 5.5 kip, 11 kip, 2.2 kip, everything you see in a structural fatigue lab. So we have a lot of this stuff available. As well, down at our warehouse in Detroit, we have a bunch of tooling and fixturing available. Same within all these drawers. These are grips for Satex. Those are ball and BTE. We have grips for HVLs. Pinions of all shapes and sizes for all different machines. That's Satex. We got hanging tooling. We got Tinia Solson grips and pinions. Custom tooling and extension rods and tension rods. Got all types of hanging grips and adapters there. Load cells. And here we have a drawers and drawers and drawers of Instron MTS load cells. So if you ever need uh, new or used load cells, we can help with that. And that's pretty much a quick overall tour of the back shop here at Frank Bacon Machinery uh, East, is what we call it. But um, I'm sure we're going to show you a couple teaser shots right here of what the new building looks like. And then in the next week or so, we will do a full tour of the new building. Thank you very much.